everyone. Welcome. I'm Anusha Soni. Former U.S. President Donald Trump is facing troubles of his lifetime. Multiple lawsuits and investigations are currently underway against him in different states of the U.S. Let's talk about the most controversial one. In a historic step, the New York prosecutors filed criminal charges against Donald Trump. This is the first time something of this nature has happened to a former U.S. president. Donald Trump pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts. The case pertains to hush money payments made to the porn star just before the 2016 presidential elections. In this case, the investigation against Trump is both criminal and civil in nature. A grand jury voted to indict the former president after New York prosecutors investigated a $130,000 US dollars payout to former adult star Stormy Daniels. What is the criminality? Is it uh, legal to pay hush money in US? While it's not illegal per se to pay someone compensation in an exchange for a non-disclosure agreement. Michael Cohen, Trump's former fixer and personal lawyer, is under investigation. It is alleged that the records were falsified by categorizing the payment to Stormy Daniels as a legal fee. Although Cohen initially said that Mr. Trump had nothing to do with the payments, he later testified under oath that Mr. Trump had directed him to make these payments. But this high-profile investigation is not the only case against Donald Trump. There's another case that pertains to Georgia elections. A prosecutor in the state of Georgia is investigating Trump's alleged efforts to overturn his 2020 election defeat in that state. Mr. Trump and his associates had numerous interactions with Georgia officials after the elections. The interactions include a call in which he urged the Secretary of State to find about 11,780 votes. This is the exact number he would have needed to overcome President Biden's lead there. Legal experts say that Mr. Trump and others appear to be at substantial risk of prosecution for violating a number of Georgia statutes, including the state's racketeering law. And who can forget the infamous U.S. Capitol attack? A House committee is investigating the Jan 6 assault on the Capitol. The committee spent a year and a half examining the role of Mr. Trump and his allies that they allegedly played in their efforts to hold on to power after the electoral defeat in November 2020. The committee issued an 845-page report concluding that Donald Trump and some of his associates had devised a multi-part plan to overturn the 2020 presidential election and disclosing in exhaustive details the events that led to the attack. The U.S. Justice Department also has investigations underway on Trump's action back in 2020 and his alleged retention of highly classified documents after departing from the White House in 2021. Whether Donald Trump improperly retained classified records at his Florida estate after he left the office in 2021 and then tried to obstruct a federal investigation, all that is under investigation right now by the authorities. The Justice Department has suggested that the classified materials stored at Mr. Trump's residence were most likely concealed and moved as the government sought to recover them. It also disclosed that it had obtained evidence that Mr. Trump's representatives falsely claimed that all sensitive material and documents had been returned. Donald Trump and his organization also faces a civil lawsuit by New York Attorney General Letita James and this is for fraud. Now James said that her office found more than 200 samples of misleading asset valuations between 2011 and 2021 and that Trump allegedly inflated his net worth by billions of dollars. Now, Donald Trump also faces two lawsuits on defamation by E. Jean Carroll, a former columnist. Trump denied having raped her at the department store in New York. Well, these are the key cases that Donald Trump faces right now and all eyes on the prosecution and investigations against him.